In this video, the roots of the equation 2z cubed take away z squared plus z plus 9 equals 0 are alpha, beta and gamma. Find a cubic equation with integer coefficients with roots 6 take away 5 alpha, 6 take away 5 beta and 6 take away 5 gamma. OK, so first of all, we need to get the coefficient of z cubed to be 1. So divide through by 2 first. So z cubed take away 1 half z squared plus 1 half z uh, plus 9 halves is equal to 0. So that means that alpha plus beta plus gamma must be equal to the negative of minus a half, so plus a half. Alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma must be equal to 1 half. And alpha beta gamma must be equal to the negative 9 halves. OK. So... Next up, we've got to find the sum of our three new roots. So we've got 6 take away 5 alpha plus 6 take away 5 beta plus 6 take away 5 gamma. OK? So we've got 6, 12, 18. Take away 5 lots of alpha plus beta plus gamma. OK? So we've got 18, take away 5 lots of a half. OK. So 18, take away 5 lots of 1 half, gets us 31 halves. So that's the sum of my three new roots. Right, then we've got the product pairs. So 6 take away 5 alpha times 6 take away 5 beta plus 6 take away 5 alpha times 6 take away 5 gamma plus 6 take away 5 beta times 6 take away 5 gamma. Okay. So we've got 6 6 is the 36, of course. Then we can have take away... Uh, 30 alpha, take away 30 beta, plus 25 beta, uh, sorry, 25 alpha beta, not beta squared. Okay, right, then we've got these two multiplied together. So plus 36, take away 30 alpha, take away 30 gamma, uh, plus 25 alpha gamma. Then plus 36, take away, so multiplying these two out now, take away 30 beta, take away 30 gamma, plus 25 beta gamma. Okay. So, we've got uh, 108 from there. Then we've got take away... Um, so we've got two lots, haven't we, of the alphas, betas, gamma. So we actually might take away 60 lots of alpha plus beta plus gamma. And then 25, so plus 25 of the alpha, beta, alpha, gamma, beta, gamma. OK, so that's 108. Take away 60 lots of a half plus 25 lots of a half. So 108 take away 60 times 1 half, uh, plus 25 times 1 half. So 181 halves. Right, last bit. 6 take away 5 alpha, 6 take away 5 beta, 6 take away 5 gamma. So I've got to expand these out. Right, OK, so let's expand out the first two. So we're going to get, uh, what did we get before? 36 take away 30 alpha, take away 30 beta, plus 25 alpha beta. And then we're multiplying that by 6 take away 5 gamma. OK. Right. So we've got 36 times 6, so 216. Then 36 times minus 5 gamma is minus 180 gamma. 
Right, then we've got minus 30 alpha times 6, so minus 180 alpha. Then minus 30 alpha times minus 5 gamma. Um, that's going to get us uh, plus 150 alpha gamma. Right, then we've got the minus 30 beta times 6, so minus 180 beta. Then minus 30 beta times minus 5 gamma, so plus 150 uh, beta gamma. Then 25 alpha beta times 6 um, is going to get us the 150 alpha beta. And 25 alpha beta times minus 5 will get us minus 125 alpha beta gamma. So we've got the 216. Then we've got take away 180 of the alpha plus beta plus gamma. Then we've got 150 of the alpha beta, alpha gamma plus beta gamma. And then take away 125 of the alpha beta gamma. So alpha, beta, gamma, alpha plus beta plus gamma was one half. Then that was a half. And alpha, beta, gamma was minus nine halves. So 216 take away 180 uh, times one half plus 150 times one half. Take away 125 times minus 9 halves, and that gets us 1527 halves. So 1527 halves. So I've got the three pieces that I need. So I know that it's got to be z cubed. Take away 31 halves times z squared plus 181 over 2 z. Take away 1, 5, 2, 7 over 2 equals 0. Now I'm going to multiply that through by 2 to get the integer coefficients. And there's my cubic equation. OK, so quite a lot of algebra to get through to get to the end result. Um, so you've got to be very careful.